Hello developers, in this video what we're going to learn is how to migrate or summon in forms application from using a PCL class library to use a net standard 2.0. Um, net standard 2.0 will be the next version of PCL, basically the progression of PCL. Um, and the support is already released for summary forms. So in this case, I will show you how to migrate your current project or any new project that you work on in the future. So let's get started with the code. Let's create a summary forms application first. So we will create that application. We will call this XF um, migrate. It will be a blank application. We will select PCL and let's continue. Here I'm going to cancel this because I'm not going to use the Windows project or the Windows Phone project in this case. So I will choose cancel and um, I'm going to rebuild the solution. First I'm going to show you that it's actually running. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do clean first. Sometimes does have been happening to me. So let's build the portable first, then the Android. And iOS we won't be able to to build it because this is not a Mac, so okay. Now let's run this in the emulator. So I can show you that it's actually a solution that is working right now. Okay, the emulator is loading. See, this is the basic application that we have uh, created just from the template that somebody provide to us. So let's stop this and let's do the migration. It's quite easy. You can do this for new applications or for existing applications. So the first thing that you need to do is add a new project. The type of project will be, in this case, uh, .NET Core, sorry, a standard and class library. And this we will call it new leaf. Okay, this one I will build it first. And after that, what we're going to do is going to manage new get packages. And let's go to install packages. And here let's look for some in forms. In this case, if we check the official documentation, let's go to Samarin website, you need to be in version 2.4 or greater to support .NET Core, .NET the standard version 2. So before I think you can, before 2.4, you can use uh, .NET standard version 1. But in this case, we want to use the newer version, which is version 2. And also if you're in a Mac, um, be careful because the support for .NET Standard 2.0 is not completely supported. So your studio will go crazy sometimes. So this is better to do it in Visual Studio 2017 if you have it. So here, what we're going to do next is go to the studio again. And first let's upgrade. 
what we already have to a new version. This will ask us to close the studio. Sometimes the studio goes crazy also and close itself uh, or doesn't build the, 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 the solution. So you need to bear with that. It just take like a few moments at the beginning and after that it will be completely transparent. With no problem you will be able to continue working in your solution. It'll take some time because you have to download a lot of stuff. Uh, the reference for somebody in Android, especially. So let's bear with it and wait a little bit for it to end. And I think it's almost done. And it is asking us to restart the studio. But before that, let's go again to the install packages here and let's install it to the for the new library that we create. This one is the Net standard version two. And done. And let's restart the studio. Here after you do that, it might crash the first time that you try to build it. So it's about cleaning, rebuild, cleaning and rebuild, and so on. So you have to be patient with that. So let's first clean the solution. And uh, let's rebuild. Actually, this is not the solution. It opened a different solution. So let me cancel this. should be this migrate okay after the studio restarted what we need to do is clean the solution and rebuild the solution it might crash the first time it will say like unexpected task error or something like that. But if it does, you have to clean the solution again and rebuild. Not a big deal. Great. So now what you need to do is first let's go to your portable class library properties and let's get the default namespace. And here we will copy this and then let's go to the net standard library and go to properties and let's replace the, the default namespace with the one that we copy from the portable class library. So right now, every time that you create a new class, for example, in here, it will live in the correct namespace. C is XF migrate, and the class one was in new leaf. 
which was the default namespace before. So it's good. So every time that we create a new um, file, it will match the namespace because we replace it with the namespace from the PCL. So let's close this. And after that, you just need to go here to the PCL project and just basically drag what you have in here, all your files and SAML and so on. So basically, I only have two, the application and the main package, sorry, the main page. So I'm just going to drag this to here. Then uh, let's compile this. Perfect. So then what you need to do is get rid of this um, library. I'm going to remove it. Remove it, not rebuild it. So it's removed here. And after that, what uh, the reference in the Xamarin Android application and the Xamarin iOS application will be missing. So here, there is no reference um, to this class. And the one that was to point into the PCL class is gone because we removed the project. So what we need to do is add reference to this new lib. So add reference, new lib. OK. And then add reference, new lib. And OK. And in here we clean again. We rebuild the um, net standard two library first. Then let's rebuild the Android one and let's try to run the project. It should run exactly the same. And OK, it's compiled, so let's try to run it. OK, and it's running, and now it's using a standard library instead of a PCL library. So this is all regarding the migration, but you need to be aware that even though the future might be .NET standard, uh, right now PCL is bigger in compatibility because a lot of packages depends on PCL and not .NET standard. So even though this is the future, in the present, the most common solution will be PCL and will be the more compatible with the NuGet packages. So you just need to be aware that you need to do this in the future, but maybe it's not the time, especially for production applications. But it's good that you play around with the technology to see what you need to do next. So this is everything for this video. Uh, if you have any pro um, questions or problems, you can uh, send me a message, write me a message here in YouTube or go to the Facebook page and send me a message there. So, well, that's everything for this video. and. Thanks for watching.